No skit today. Y'all already saw the topic. Y'all know what it's about. Then I wrote this. This right here. Stop manipulating, controlling, and trying to be the savior of the people. Some people are going to be mad at me. Now, that's cool. Like my grandma say, if you're mad, scratch your ass and get glad. We should look at ourselves and if we're not seeing ourselves I feel like somebody should make us look at ourselves let's talk about this Africa has so many youth they have so many young adults women and men and the women are you ask anybody who over here they tell you the men are Ugh. and when I do that because y'all can't see me posing we coming over here most of us are old there. And we get over here, it might not be the intentions of some of us, but a lot of us, it is, y'all ain't slick. You get over here, you're looking for a young tender, a tenderoni. That's what you want. So you get over here, you bring your bread and your age. And because we know that it's a third world country. They have a lot of youth, young, not a lot of experience. You're gonna get with them and it's probably gonna be their first real relationship. And you done got over here and brought your experience from your past relationships and things that's happened to you, things that you haven't fixed, things that you haven't worked on. So you got this trauma, this drama, all of that type of shit. So you bring that. And you work very, very, very hard to get this young person. You work hard. And some of y'all, y'all didn't have to work that hard. Uh, because you understand that when somebody get with us from over here, it's almost looked at as a game. And if anybody tell you different, that's bull****. But that can end very, very quick with the treatment of how we doing the people. They already been working. They already been grinding. They already have a place to stay. They already be having family. You understand? And then we get over here with our old Yeah. And 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 we want that youth. We want that we want that Stella got got a groove back. I don't even know which one for the men, but that's what we want. Cuz I'm talking to men and women. Cuz most of the people I talk to are women. Mm -hmm. I'm not no counselor. I don't. I don't counsel nobody. I just talk real. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. A lie is a lie. If everybody believe it, just like the truth is the truth. If no one believe it, ah. <sighs> okay, let's get into it. The person they getting with most of the time, 10, 20 years, even 30 years younger than them, and we see white folk. They over here, they got, they old, they got them a young one, and we talk that shit about them. Straight up, we be talking like, oh man, that, that looks like, that shouldn't be like. But then, we get us a young one, and what kind of experience we give them? Their parents probably didn't want you in the first place to be with their young adult. You work very hard to get that. You 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 told them that, yes, I, I understand your culture. I will convert to your religion. Uh, I, I, I will help your family. I know that's what y'all about. You know, I'm gonna, when, like I got my own things, but you know, I'm gonna make sure that you have something too. Cause we are together. That's what y'all saying over here. But then what ends up happening is, something I call home court advantage. And it's not home court advantage because you at home, you know, you I mean, you're, you're in your homeland. No, we're in on foreign territory that's considered our home as well. Our homeland is back, you know, but home court advantage is your money, your buildings that you're buying, your land that you're buying, 
the cars that you buy, the houses, all of that, right? Put that there. Y'all see that? Yeah, those things. That's home court advantage. And you use that because you know you're in a third world country. Yeah. So you like, yeah, I have advantages. Maybe you're not consciously like in your mind just thinking about I'm going to use that as the brick I put on your head that you got to walk around with. Maybe you don't think of it like that. But in these conversations, that's what's being used. And it's funny when you talk to them, they aren't listening to themselves. Then you have the I'm just joking. The, the, the people who would talk all this. All the things that they can't handle, somebody saying to them that they don't want to hear from somebody else. And then they, but they say, I'm just joking after. Knowing that the person is not a laughing matter, it's not funny. You know, you dog walking them, you, you, you putting them under. And I'm telling y'all, this is, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. You already knew your responsibilities when you got married. You already had been, you already converted. What you didn't expect was the person to actually be who they are, right? So I'm saying you didn't expect the person to be a man and you didn't expect the person to be a woman. You didn't expect that discipline to hit your ass because that's what combats that experience. One thing you can't do, you can't fast forward time and you can't fast forward experience we know this you can't give someone the experience you can give the information you can you can you can be dropping knowledge and then they still have to go get the experience but what you can do you can prepare people and what y'all didn't expect was them to be prepared they going through but they more prepared why because they have a mother and a father most likely they are together They've been in a family. They, they've seen their mother and their father interact. Mm-hmm. They have that. You know, and their mother and their father raised them. They have discipline. And discipline, a lot of times, combats experience. Because if your experience was traumatic, you can't trust, you just got all these different issues, that person discipline is going, yeah, it's going to come through. I always tell people when, when, before anything, go meet the person, mother and the father. And that's going to tell you a lot because most of the time they end up just like their parents. I'm talking this because we need to look at ourselves. It's about us knowing, looking, learning and growing, right? That's what it's about. So this video is for anybody who may be going through this, may be doing it, but don't know that they're doing it. So some examples. Yeah, if you got big trust issues, don't fuck with nobody else. Work that out. You don't want the person that you with to be around anybody else, no more. All the people that they grew up with, the family, the mom, dad, gaslighting. If you with somebody, and you making them feel like they crazy and you know you wrong, yeah, that's probably gaslighting right there. Nothing is ever your fault. Something's your fault. From the situations I've been talking to the people about, it's been their fault, but they don't want to accept that. Now, you with the person and you understand their responsibilities and all the things that they have to do, but you ain't tripping off of it no more. You ain't worried. Why, you in a relationship, you got them, what are they? They're just your objects? Are they your slaves? What are they? Do you want a man? Do you want a woman? What do you want? The other thing, the guilt trip, and I'm checking all these off because in every conversation, these are the things that I'm getting. Maybe unconsciously you're not looking at it. You're not, but it's in there that I'm going to this third world country. So the people just have less than me, period. You understand? So that, that vulnerability that might attract you, that you feel like you will have an advantage because in your previous relationships, you didn't have that advantage. Somebody else was in control. Somebody else had the money. Somebody else 
the maybe you felt like the power was unbalanced. You understand what I'm saying? Then part of this savior complex is you always need to find a solution when you don't need to find a solution for somebody else. You need to find a solution for you because you working on you, fixing you 100% is going to do what? It's going to help your relationship. The third one is you keep making sacrifices emotionally, time-wise, and financially. And, you know, the biggest killer, no matter where you at, um, for us is when the money is like this and then it goes like this. So all those responsibilities that has to keep happening for whoever you with, they got to keep happening regardless. So you got to let them do what they do, what they've been doing, what they know how to do. So another thing you probably should think about is if you're helping for the wrong reasons. Some of y'all helping for the wrong reason. Help yourself first. I ain't going to say no more about that one. I want to tell you how this is going to affect you. If you come over here and this is what you're going to do too, number one, I put that you would get burned out. Yeah, eventually with already having a culture shock and all the things that's already going to be going on and taking place, you got to understand that it's going to be a big dip. It's, when you go up like this, it's going to be a boop. It's going to happen. And, and, and if you in the correct mindset, you're going to go to the middle instead of going all the way down. Uh, your relationship that you got, that you worked hard to get, that you really wanted, or that you wanted to use or whatever, it's gonna go down the drain. It's gonna be finished. It's gonna be done in a sore. You thinking that you can fix somebody, but this ain't you ain't fixing a house, you're not fixing a car, you're not fixing your clothes. This is a human you talking about. You're pushing for an experience that's non-existent, non-existent. The only thing that you can bank on with doing that is becoming disappointed. That's it. So number three, you're going to feel like you fell in or you failed because you can't fix people. The energy is not going to be right. The frequency is going to be low or high, too high. It's not going to be balanced. So it's going to be done. So you got to identify first within yourself. You got to listen to whoever you with. Then give some low pressure assistance. That's like, hey, if you need to rap, we can rap. If I know about something and I can help you with it, hit me up. Those low pressure. And the key, work on yourself. And that's it, man. We need to do this because they will crack down on us. We are in a foreign country, even though we're saying this is our home, Africa is our home. They don't have to be gracious. They don't have to be good to us, you know, and it will change if they continue to see us not being good to them. All right, blessings and love.